Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> hey, buddy, how's it going? I'm, I'm a just... little frightened because of the face you just gave. <laughs> you know, I got to keep you on your toes. Uh, okay, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> but, well, we're continuing down the uh, the hallways that is Nam June's brain. And so I figured I might as well be as weird as the music videos that we've been watching. <laughs> I mean, Aaron, let's face facts. We both are weird. We've been weird for a while. So it's true. I think I've never been normal. <laughs> it's no, it's boring being normal. It is. Tr- it's true. I remember when I was a kid, a little off topic, I thought I was a vampire for like five years. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I got, and this is kind of a little off topic but i was so obsessed with superheroes mm. i had my mom make me a batman cape nice and i was we were living in an apartment complex at the time and i would jump mm. off the playground so the cape would fly up and i had to act like i was so cool i'm like yeah i'm so cool and i would kick the air and punch the air like i was fighting crime heck yeah no i was, I, I was obsessed with castlevania so i thought i was a vampire yeah there was there was a few things I could say, but I don't want to divulge too much info to everyone watching because, you know, personal life and all. Yeah, for sure. But <laughs> my future wife, she'll probably laugh at some of the stuff I tell her that the imaginations that I had as a kid. Oh, yeah, 100%. But so what's this one that we're going to be talking about? All right. So this one is a song that's called Lost. And again, this is a kind of an allegorical explanation of what's kind of going on uh, that you know, kind of like how I was explaining in the last video, but uh, it's, I would say it's a very different topic. And I think in a sense, uh, this is one of those ones that when you listen to it, it's kind of like at first you're like, Oh, this is kind of really strange. And then like when you put the pieces together, it's like, Oh, Oh no. (laughs) Like it's kind of, it's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. It's a little bit heavy. So, Kind of cool, though. All right. Well, I was a little weirded out at first at the last one, so we'll see how weirded out I get. You'll be weirded out by this one, too. Don't worry. (laughs) Man, oh, man. Here we go. Inside Namjoon's brain. That's right. This is going to be weird. (laughs) It is. (laughs) (laughs) You can probably maximize it. Good evening. Chowin Chanyogyo. Presenting his new solo single. Lost. She said that was such a strange thing. <laughs> Performing for us tonight. Give it up for Oh my god. I have a question for you real quick, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. That, that blonde girl, did she change to RM? Yeah. I thought so. I'm like, that doesn't look the same <laughs> you know notice everybody has. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is weirding me out. Do you feel lost? <laughs> I feel lost, yep. <laughs> Good. I got them lost. I never did a club before I hit the club. I never felt so free before your goddamn girls. I never felt so fine before I hit the club. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn, now I think you're worried. 
정신 차려 보는 거는 새나던 걸 시안에서 살 걸레 쌓긴 벌써 30 And I look up in the sky It's a silver cloud You heard it Dumb it underground Pick it up Throw it in a truck Dumb it underground Pick it up Throw it in a truck Dumb it underground Pick it up Throw it in a truck Dumb it underground Pick it up Now let's go dump Totally Simpsons right there. What was that? That animation style is totally like Simpsons right there. That's exactly what I just said. I look like the Simpsons. I want to yeah. watch that real quick. Let's go talk. That one right there. It looks like Homer's eyes. <laughs> Homer. <laughs> Homer. Mm, donuts. <laughs> Spider-Man has a good rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so glorious. Like that. That makes me want to go do that for some reason. Right? Super hot here in Utah today. <laughs> Dude, it's so hot. <laughs> Every morning, every night, I always feel like this. And in the morning, I feel love, I hug it in excitement. Every morning, every night, I always feel excitement. Like this, when I feel no need for this, still alive. Never loving alone, cut it lightless. Oh, I've got the dogs. I've never been to club before. I hit the club. I never felt so free before you got them girls. I never felt so free before I got temptation. Ingenuity. I got temptation. <laughs> I got temptation. I got temptation. I got temptation. Not was incredible. Lost is out everywhere. Give it up for RM. <laughs> 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 I got temptation. I got temptation. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. What's your thoughts? What What do you feel like the it says to you? <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm trying to make sense of this. Yeah. And I just I couldn't like. <laughs> so uh, for me personally. My first original thought, and actually, I kind of funny enough had a little bit backed up by a video that I, I had watched about explaining it. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like everybody that he sees that he turns into, it's like it's basically everything cyclical, right? So basically, you get up, you eat, you do everything, and in that, in doing so, you get lost. So everything is cyclical, and you know, after a while, you kind of just sit around. And you're like, well, I'm back at the beginning. And then you, the next thing you think to yourself, like, 
I don't know where I'm at. So it's kind of like this like whole idea of like when you get in too much of like the routine that you end up losing who you are. It's kind of like how I've always felt about it. And just like the interesting thing was that I didn't really notice is in this video they're talking about how everybody that doesn't turn into Nam June is basically like another emotion. So like everybody in the, the in the elevator with him was like kind of like inside out in a sense where it's like one's like anxiety, one's like happiness, one's, a, you know, anger, one is like loftiness or whatever. Yeah. And so basically the whole, I from what I understand anyway, is that basically you keep doing things and keep doing things and then just end up becoming lost and everything becomes cyclical. And so you're trying to like figure out how to break that cycle. So yeah, it's, no, it's one of those ones that's like, what the heck? But it makes perfect sense to me once I... Oh, yeah. yeah now, now the whole thing makes sense to me now that you explained it. You know, yeah. There, there's a common thing that where people get lost in, and that's one thing I wanted to bring up, is the, the myth of the nine to five. You know, <laughs> yes. especially here in the United States, we were taught, you know, both boys and girls, that, you know, you grow up, you graduate, you go to college, you get married, you get into a career, you work for like a good 30 to 60, 30 to 40 years. Uh, you get that gold watch and then you retire you stay around for like maybe another like 10 or so years and then you die like in yep. that and ever since i was in high school i'm like this doesn't sound right to me like there's something that just sounds off to me and you and yeah. i we've had this conversation off screen quite yeah. a bit where we're just like this just this this doesn't compute in my mind this does not make sense that you know you go work for this big corporation and then you you die yeah, and so and people get lost in that, like they get lost in the the nine to five. That's what the point I'm making. You know, in that video, you know, he's wearing a suit that he's going to work every day, slaving away, and he's getting lost in yep. nine to five. Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly right. And you know, the interesting thing is to for me is that I think that anything you can get lost in, because mm -hmm. like. I mean, not to brag or anything like that, but I've put out a few extra videos on top of what you've done. <laughs> I think uh, I think right now I'm topping off at like 1,100 videos for my channel. Not even joking. And let me tell you, have I felt lost? Have I felt like it, it, sometimes the character gets muddied? Yeah, it does. And then it's kind of funny because... Once in a while, they'll just be like a comment, and they'll be like, "When are you going to do this again?" Or like, "What about this?" And I'm just like, something like waking, like wakes me back up. I'm like, oh man, I have been honestly like kind of lost. Yeah, and so it, it happens in every, in every facet of life. Oh, for sure. I I think that um, you know, I'm in my mid 30s now, and Cheers. I remember. <laughs> yeah cheers um and I've, I've had this conversation with um people in this um online community that, I, that i'm going to be joining um a little side note i'm going to be joining here in the next four to five months a, uh, an online gaming community called redline so make sure you guys watch out for those videos nice and um so and there's a few creators i've become friends with in there and one of them is my age and they i've had conversations with with her through chat and with uh, others who in chat who are my age in my age range and your age range. And um, there's nothing wrong with being in your mid thirties. You're only as old as you feel. But I feel like when I was in my twenties, I was, I had that programmed in my mind and this is no fault to anyone, but my own. It's not my fault. The fault of my parents, my siblings, my teachers, my, you know, everyone that influenced my life. Yeah, that, you know, in your early 20s, you get married, then you start having kids. You know, at this point, when you're having kids, you're either in college or you've gone through college and you just work that nine to five. And, you know, I, I got lost in that. I was so focused on that that I failed to see all the opportunities around me. Like, to be honest with you, Aaron, I first thought about starting a YouTube channel back in 2009. Wow. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, um, I was. There was a video that I watched called "John Williams is the Man." Oh yeah, yeah, I know that um, video. And I thought in my mind, oh how cool would that be to be able to work from home and like make videos all day long. That'd be so cool. And then I was like, 
no, that's not realistic. I have to go out and get a career. I have to go to college. I have to do all this. I have to do that. And who would have thought that, you know, 15 years later, I would be doing this. Like I would be creating content. Yeah. You know, I think it's interesting that you say that because my whole life, I knew I was never cut out for the nine to five. And, you know, obviously I'm not quite fully there yet. Right. But I never expected it to be what it is now. And, you know, the interesting thing is, is uh, if I might divulge a little bit, but there's a little while ago, I sent you a video from uh, Marlon Webb. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was this one that was called The Rain Man. Uh huh. And I don't know if you remember this video or not, but basically it shows him sitting out, standing out in the rain. And, you know, basically his like inner self comes in and like asks him, like, what are you doing standing out here in the rain? And he's like, I thought I would have already had figured out by now. And he's like, nobody ever has it figured out. (laughs) And it's like, you know, whether where you're at in life, it's interesting because I've thought that a lot. I thought by, you know, 28, I was like, this is everything that I need to know about life. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it was just one of those cycles that we see. Yeah, we're lost in. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've had those kind of thoughts too. You know, um, because for the longest time, that was interesting. uh, (laughs) The drawer just popped open. Uh, But uh, for the longest time, like I was, and and I have to say, full disclaimer or disclosure: if people watching this, they they feel like education is the right path to do, by all means, do it. Like I think there's no such thing as a wrong way for sure. I'm a strong supporter of education. I'm a senior in college right now. And so by all means do that. But what I'm, what I'm about to say might upset some people. There's nothing wrong with deciding not to go to college. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying like, I just want to get some certifications. I want to be able to get to the point like where I own my, maybe someone's like, maybe I want to own my own business. And that's one thing that I liked about this video is that, it points out how people do get lost. They get lost in these, these monotonous kind of things, you know, even shoot drinking water. The, the guy was like, you know, down, he's like down <laughs> he yeah. water, drinking water. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so much I could talk about with that. And, you know, I, I don't, but I don't want to be come off as like some philosopher. Or, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, coming from, uh, there's, I, I, there was a part that I really liked in this. I want to go back to the video. Yeah. There's a part that I really liked in this that I was actually thoroughly impressed with. And it was this from the cinematographer's point of view. I really liked it a lot. I mean, it was. Simpsons? It, <laughs> well, it was right before the Simpsons. Yeah, we'll talk about the Simpsons thing too. <laughs> it's a sad, it's I love this that they just made it look like it was a retro video game. I really liked that. Yeah. Right. I mean, it reminds me of like the Atari and things of that nature. Yeah, Tron. And I look up in the sky, silver cloud, you heard it. This part, I loved this part. I thought this yeah. cinematography was so good. I was thoroughly impressed with this. Dude, it's wild, huh? Like, that takes a lot of effort to do that from a yeah. videographer's perspective. Like, it takes a lot. Camera angles, the transitions you have to do, everything that goes into it. Yeah. I'll pick it up, throw it in a truck, dump it on the ground, pick it up, throw it in a truck, dump it on the ground, pick it up. Now. Of course, we got to talk about The Simpsons because, <laughs> Aaron, you and I both grew up with The Simpsons. Oh, man. I, I think I've seen like every episode of The Simpsons in history. Like, it was a daily, it was a daily routine in my house. 5 30 rolls around from 5 30 to, to 7 o'clock. We were watching The Simpsons, and then it would come on with another show called the, called Seinfeld After. And then on every oh, yeah. Sunday night was a new episode of The Simpsons. So me and my family would just sit down and watch The Simpsons. It got to so, the point where we actually even converted my mom to enjoying The Simpsons. <laughs> like she actually started liking The Simpsons. 
Wow. In so, my household, the, Sim the Simpsons was not allowed. Now, I know that, that they wouldn't be watching, so they don't know this, but like when we were kids, we would wait for my parents to go to work and we would kick down The Simpsons. <laughs> and they would come home and be like, I hope you watched something educational at least. And we'd be like, Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. We watched The Simpsons. Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Halloween special, okay? You gotta watch The Treehouse of Horrors. I, but yeah, this right here, let me share my screen. I love this because it just reminds me, it's such, to me, it's such an Easter egg to The Simpsons. Yeah. So cool. I, I love this because, like, these are just, I could picture them, like, turn the lights on. You could see, like, you know, Homer being in the background, this front person being, like, Mo, and then it's just other people. And the, like, I, I love this so much. I think it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. The cinematographer, this is, oh, man. Yeah, it's very creative. And, you know, honestly, too, like, that part that you liked, where it looked like the wheel, they were walking on a wheel. Uh huh. I don't know if you remember this. I remember this a lot when I was in like junior high and high school, like to, doing art. And remember like all the weird modern art pictures they always showed you, like in of the seventies, like the Andy Warhols. Doesn't yes. this kind of like give you that feeling of like an Andy Warhol picture? You know, let's watch it again just to make because I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I remember at Union Junior High, since it's thinking online, like, how is this considered art? Yeah, I know. Like, it's a pitch, it's a painting of a Campbell soup can. Yeah, right. And like, <laughs> I remember specifically in high school that there was like one time we took a class about this person who was like really a famous artist, but like uh -huh. all the stuff that they drew looked like the pictures that you'd see, like the men and women symbol on like the bathroom doors. But like, that's like what they used to like paint. So they're like, there'd be like a bunch of like pink versions of them, like stretched out and like holding on to each other. And I'm like, what is this? And it like, it had like those kinds of curves where it's like, it would like kind of come in like that. Right. And or it narrows into the beginning and it starts to spread out to the front or to the back. And then the way that they walked, I'm like, this is looks like that weird modern art that I got taught in high school. <laughs> it really does. It really does. But like, I, I there's something about it I enjoy so much, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this too. For this, the cinematography for this was really good. I, I was in <laughs> this too. Yeah. Like this had to, they had to have done this a few times. Oh, I'm sure. Like I could see myself if I was doing this. I got, you know how they do those outtakes on like bonus features for like. Oh yeah. 100%. I could see myself just being that person that just like kept falling. And just like, <laughs> just like starts laughing. <laughs> yeah, dude, totally. One hundred percent. I can see them. I can see RM and all these people doing this. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent, dude. It's so funny. Oh yeah. No, it's it's creative. Though. It's very creative. I love that they're all just like holding on to the wheel. Like... <laughs> so one thing that I find really interesting that I've been kind of talking a little bit more on my channel as well that has really started to stick out to me ever since I started working on the redesigns of my channel mm -hmm. is focusing on color palettes. Yeah. And like I've been noticing that a lot, especially with uh, with BTS's music, because they use they really play into the color palettes a lot. And I think it's kind of interesting when you look at this because like the whole thing is about cycles, right? But the thing that's interesting is like when you look at the palette color or the color palettes, it's very like, I would say the word like almost mundane, like it's meant to kind of make you lose focus because it's like it's browns and olives and whites. And so it's like, it almost gives you like that feel of like you being stuck in your maze and you know, it's just like everything looks the same. It almost like you, it's almost like you get lost. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's. I think that's one thing that's been kind of interesting is like starting to pay attention more to the uh, the color palettes, and it's like, whoa, there's a lot of storytelling just by the colors that they use. Oh man, I I, I love it so much. I just want to finish watching this one snippet, and then we'll go talk. for it. I just I love that the spinning. 
Do you notice the Spider-Man meme there? What was that? Did you notice the Spider-Man meme right there? No, I didn't. If you notice, keep going back. Right here. Stop for a second and hit play. I think it's right. Keep, keep going. I got temptation. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That is amazing. I'm, I'm dirty out now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, you, no, you, no, you. No, you're me, but I'm me, and you're me, and I'm you. <laughs> I am me, and he is me, and I am you. In that movie, uh, Rush Hour. Yep. That's awesome, though. I, I love right. It. So much. You know, one last thing that I wanted to point out too that I think may kind of gets a little lost. That spot that you really like where they're all rolling through. Uh-huh. Do you notice that was the only part that was like super repetitious where they use the same word, like the same phrase, very cyclical. It's like take it out, dump it on the ground, take it out, dump it on the ground, take it out, dump it on the ground. Like that that repeats for the whole thing. It's like it's a cycle. It's these cycles that we keep getting. It's I don't know, it's it's so uh, one of those things you're just like, oh, dang, that's it's that crazy. monotonous cycle that everyone gets lost in. One hundred percent. Wow, that just that Spider-Man meme just made my day. I thought you'd like that. It just made my day because that's like one of my favorite superheroes is Spider-Man. Oh yeah, dude, Spider-Man's so good. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Well, so what are your final thoughts on this? I think that the overall feeling is is that. I know that it's always a lot of, I think it's, I want to summarize it in a really weird way that I want to say, look after yourself in an unselfish way. Because I think a lot of times when people are like, oh, I'm going to do self care. And then like the first thing they do is like, they just become kind of like ignorant pricks. Yep. And like, then there's no like actual like self care behind it. It's just like the, uh, an excuse for them to become mean. But what I really want you to do is focus on yourself in an unselfish way to let yourself heal and become who you're supposed to be for the better. Exactly. You know, I talk about on my channel all the time, being that light in the midst of a dark world and being that example. And that's what you got to do. Yeah. And sometimes you have to fix yourself. There's nothing wrong with fixing yourself. You got to fix yourself before you can fix someone else. Exactly. A famous line from a song from a famous art that says, you got to love yourself before you can ever love me. Mm-hmm. And you got to, and that's true. Like you got to fix yourself. You be- exactly. So, all right. Well, Aaron, I think we should do this again one more time for this week. Maybe, right? Maybe we can check out RM's nuts. Maybe. <laughs> no, I think we should do this two more times because I think there's a BTS op- episode that we haven't watched yet. Yeah, so we have a run BTS episode for sure. So stay tuned for that. And Aaron, <laughs> let's send them out for me. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs>